this video, I'm going to be showing you how to tie a snell knot and why it's an important knot every fisherman should know. My name is Darcy from Darcyzzle Offshore, and just so you are aware, I have a ton of how-to videos available on my YouTube channel. I'm going to link the playlist down in the description below, but a lot of how-to videos on various types of fishing. Let's get right into the snell knot, and I already have a snell knot pre-tied here. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. And the snell knot is great for various types of fishing, for bass for instance, for flipping and pitching, and other techniques that are available out there. But for me, I do a lot of deep sea offshore fishing, and I like to use a snell knot paired with a circle hook. Another great thing about the snell knot is the fact that it evenly distributes the line tension along the shank of the hook and it's not being pinched in one, any one particular area and therefore you get less break-offs. There are a variety of methods to tie a snell knot and I'm going to show you the way I have learned and I, it's most effective. You're going to run your line through the eye of the hook and when you always do a snell knot you want to make sure you run the eye through the top, you run your line through the top side of the eye of the hook, basically by the point side. And once you get a good amount of tag line out, what you want to do next is you want to make a fold, a parallel line on the shank of the hook so you have a loop, just like so. And then once you have your loop, you're going to take your tag end and you're going to start making wraps around the line and the shank of the hook. I made one wrap, I'm going to pinch it, and then I'm going to continue wrapping. And you want to do about six to eight wraps, depending on your preference. With the paracord, I'm going to do a little less. So now that I have done my wraps, you want to take your tag end and you want to slide it through the loop that you made, hold on to your tag end, and then cinch down your main line. And of course you want to lubricate this with real fishing line, so it's going to slide down into the knot nice and easy. And once you've done that, pull it tight, you're good to go. That is how you tie a snell knot. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Also be sure to check out my other how-to playlist down in the description. And until my next video, follow your dream and keep on catching.